Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some big breaking news in regards to a returning character in the Arrowverse. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So as you guys know, last year we had a series of cameos from David Ramsey who plays John Diggle in Arrow. And obviously Arrow isn't around anymore, so he doesn't have a show to appear in. However, they made a deal where he would come back, he would be in Vancouver, he would appear in multiple episodes throughout all the different Arrowverse shows, and it would be kind of their crossover for that season. And now obviously we're on to the next seasons of The Flash and Batwoman and with The Flash we had a big crossover with Armageddon. So looking back at it, the Diggle crossovers aren't that big, however they do tease a lot for the future. Now it was just officially announced a couple of days ago that David Ramsey is going to be returning as John Diggle in Batwoman Season 3. Now this was made official not by like some big announcement or something, so they haven't made a huge deal out of it. In fact, it was announced and it was spotted by fans in a new Batwoman Season 3 Episode 9 synopsis. And we're not really going to go over the synopsis because I'm not caught up with Batwoman and we don't tend to cover Batwoman on the channel. However, it's huge that he's coming back to the Arrowverse because, number one, like I said, this hasn't been announced. This is just like sneakily out of nowhere. Yeah, John Diggle is coming back to the Arrowverse. That is huge news and it should be huge news because of how he left off everything with Supergo and The Flash because it teased that he would be going off and accepting his responsibilities as potentially Green Lantern and that would be dealt with further on down the line in the next year or so whenever he returned to the Arrowverse and now is the time it seems. So the big question we have is why is Diggle back on Batwoman? Why is he back in Gotham in the first place? Because if you remember the Batwoman crossover with Diggle last year in Season 2, towards the back half of the season, saw him seeking help in Gotham City for his headaches. So is his return to go back to that same person that was helping him with his headaches? Or is he taking this a step further? Has he already accepted what he was going to accept at the end of Supergirl and accept his responsibilities? and sort of seek out whatever was happening with him. Again, that's all shrouded in mystery. However, it's been heavily hinted that maybe he got offered a Green Lantern ring and that's what he's been dealing with all this time. And so the big question here is, is he gonna show up as Green Lantern? Now, the answer to that is probably not yet, but maybe soon. And I say that because I think they would have made a big deal out of the episode or, you know, the multiple episodes whenever he does become Green Lantern at some point, which we are presuming is going to happen soon. Because they're going to want people hyped, they're going to want ratings up, not just like a normal episode type ratings, but in fact like crossover numbers. And so I do think that if he ever shows up as Green Lantern in the Arrowverse, it would be in a big crossover and not in just like one specific episode that some people can miss if, say, you don't watch Batwoman like myself. But definitely the big question that is on everyone's minds right now after seeing the news that John Diggle is coming back to the Arrowverse, does this mean that there is going to be more surprise Diggle cameos later this season on all the other Arrowverse shows? Now, I'm going to rule out Naomi because it's a brand new show. I don't think he's going to appear on it just randomly out of nowhere considering we have no links to the Arrowverse as of right now. However, probably in the future we're going to get a crossover. Let's talk about the possibilities of Diggle showing up on the other shows this season. So as you guys may know, David Ramsey is directing some episodes this year. And we officially know that Superman Lois Season 2 Episode 2 is directed by David Ramsey himself. Now, there's been some rumours going around for a long time that Diggle would show up on Superman Lois and some of the other shows and obviously this has come to fruition with Batwoman and so with him directing Superman and Lois season 2 episode 2 it's more likely than not with him there in Vancouver on the Superman and Lois set he's probably going to appear in that episode. Now I'm going to say that is the strongest possibility out of any of the other shows because as of right now I don't think we have confirmation that he's directing The Flash this year or Legends so right now I think Superman and Lois is our best 
next bet considering episode 2 is the one he directed and it seems he's totally open to returning as Diggle and not just directing the episodes as David Ramsey because he's fully invested in his character and with what they've teased us with Diggle's story surely we have to finish it off at some point and we need to expand on it because what they set up was something big and something like that can't be shrugged off and the showrunners and everyone behind all the Arrowverse shows know this and David knows it himself and that's why I think he's appearing bit by bit and they're spreading it out so that he can appear, he can come back, direct these episodes, star in these episodes and then eventually one day, I don't know if it's this season on our shows or if it's next season or the one afterwards but at some point we surely are going to get a conclusion to what they've been teasing. So let's quickly talk about The Flash. So The Flash is still filming right now and they film for a long time and even though the Superman Lois set is a bit further away from the other shows he found time to go over to Batwoman and film over there so I'm not sure if he did it at the exact same time but it makes sense if he's in Vancouver he's going to go over to the other sets he's going to say hi he's probably going to appear in an episode if they want him and who's not going to want him so if during the time he was filming maybe he filmed a small cameo on The Flash I'm going to say it's less likely for Legends because his character would probably not be John Diggle, it would be an alternate version of himself. Just look at his appearance last season on Legends for evidence. But let's quickly go back to Batwoman. So when he appears, it's probably going to be a continuation off of where we last saw him on Supergirl and with Superman Lois and The Flash before. As mentioned earlier in the video, he's probably going to talk a bit about and tease a bit about what he's been doing in the meantime. Did he actually take up that offer for him to become an even greater hero? Because if you remember that specific line in Supergirl in his last appearance, he mentioned that he got this opportunity to become a different type of hero, but he turned it down because it would have meant leaving his family. So. Has he finally taken that leap? Has he left his family? Only for the meantime, obviously. And has he now come back to Earth to maybe continue his mission or to find out more answers if he hasn't maybe got to that point where he's been trying to get to, to get that opportunity up on the table once again? So I'm super excited to see John Diggle return to the Arrowverse once again, even if it's in a show that I'm not up to date with. I'm pretty sure he's going to appear on other shows later this year, so hopefully you guys are excited too. Obviously this is a kind of mini crossover once again, I don't think this was intended as the Arrow vs big crossover of the year, that was definitely Armageddon. So the fact that this is so low key is very interesting. Maybe it was a last minute thing where they were like, oh yeah, David Ramsey is in Vancouver so let's ask him and he just happened to agree to it and so he makes a small cameo in this episode. But before we end this video, I'm going to read the synopsis for all of you guys who want to know what the episode is about on Batwoman. And we're not going to break it down much because, like I said, I'm not up to date. However, it may be good for you guys who are up to date. So, Natural Disasters. Ryan, Sophie, and Luke attempt to track down the OG Poison Ivy when all signs point to Pamela Isley's reappearance in Gotham. At the same time, Mary feels drawn by a powerful force, and Alice suddenly feels very protective of her stepsister. Meanwhile, Jada hasn't given up on rehabilitating Marcus and seeks the help of an old friend. And the synopsis ends by it saying, guest starring David Ramsey, so it doesn't tease what he's actually doing in the episode, it just references, yes, David Ramsey is in this episode, he's gonna guest star, and have a cameo at least. I mean we don't know how big his role is in the episode. Remember this is titled Natural Disasters. This is season 3 episode 9 of Batwoman. This is going to actually be airing on the 19th of January. So currently right now is the 2nd of January. So we have 17 days until it comes out. And what's important about this date is the fact that you have to remember Superman Lois premieres season 2 episode 1 on January 11th, which means that episode 2, directed by David Ramsey, is going to be airing on January 18th, the day before he makes his appearance on Batwoman, so it would make 100% sense if my theory about David Ramsey showing up as John Diggle and Superman Lois actually happens in episode 2, 
because he's directing it because he was in Vancouver and it's literally the day before his appearance on Batwoman which could act as a mini crossover just for two episodes two John Diggle cameos in one week that would be awesome wouldn't it so tell me what do you think about Diggle reappearing this season on Batwoman and what shows do you think he's actually going to appear in in the rest of the Arrowverse. So I have one more topic that I want to hit before the end of the video and I just wanted to continue this topic by briefly discussing the new HBO Max show of Green Lantern. So with that show coming out and being about the Green Lantern Corps, we're going to be seeing multiple versions of Green Lantern throughout that series. Now it's been established already that the DCEU and the Arrowverse is linked so you can presume that this new Green Lantern show is going to be linked to the Arrowverse as the Green Lanterns are 100% out there in the multiverse despite us never seeing them in the Arrowverse as of right now. So if they decide to link the HBO Max show to say the Arrowverse that would mean that David Ramsey if he eventually becomes Green Lantern obviously as John Diggle that means that he would have been recruited by these very same Green Lantern Corps. So I think there's a very high chance that if they actually go forward with the storyline for John Diggle and if David Ramsey is down to show up in the show and this is all kind of relying on the fact that maybe the showrunners wouldn't mind crossing over with these other characters from these other shows I think he can totally show up and I would love that and I'm sure most fans would love that too because it's his destiny, it's what they've been teasing this whole time and as I mentioned earlier in the video we have to conclude this at some point, we need to see him as Green Lantern if that's actually what they've been teasing the whole time and what better way to continue that story by having him appear as Green Lantern on the Green Lantern show even if it's just for a small cameo, it doesn't need to be like a full series lead role because I don't think he's going to be a series lead on the Green Lantern show but it would just be great to see him appear. So what do you think about all this? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel if you do that. Also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos, especially with Superman Lois premiering season two, along with Naomi premiering for the very first time on January 11th. So that's in just over a week's time. You're not going to want to miss any of my coverage. We're going to be doing lots of Superman Lois videos. And obviously we'll talk about when John Diggle shows up on Batwoman because it definitely can mean big things. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.